Age-related macular degeneration is a disease that comes on later in life. We now know it's a genetic condition, but it can be influenced by different lifestyle choices over the course of your life. People who smoke have a worse case. People who don't eat a healthy diet also have a worse case of macular degeneration. It causes late onset blindness. And in fact, it's the major cause of irreversible blindness among the elderly worldwide. We now know that it's an autoimmune condition based on the Human Genome Project that was completed in 2005. Age-related macular degeneration is caused by a portion of your immune system called the complement cascade attacking the back of your eye. And it starts at a very early age and progresses slowly over the course of your life. Usually when someone's in their 60s or 70s, they start noticing vision changes. At first, the vision is affected under dim light situations. You may have trouble with driving at night. You may have trouble with glare. And over time, you slowly lose your central vision, the most important vision that you have. This is the vision that lets you read, recognize faces, really perform the daily functions of living. Age-related macular degeneration has different stages. We divide them up into early and intermediate and late. Vision loss occurs with the late stage of age-related macular degeneration. However, in the earlier stages, we recommend the patients take vitamin supplementation and eat a diet rich in green leafy vegetables. The vitamins that we recommend are vitamins called the Age-Related Eye Disease Study Preservision Formulation that was studied in over 10,000 patients in the United States. These vitamins, the AREDS2 formulation, can be found at any drug drugstore or convenience store. And we recommend you take one in the morning and one at night along with a multivitamin. And once again, daily consumption of dark green leafy vegetables is really important to slow down the overall disease progression. In wet macular degeneration, abnormal blood vessels grow and leak in the back of your eye and causes fairly rapid vision loss over the course of days to weeks. When I started in practice 27 years ago, we didn't have any treatments for wet macular degeneration and it rapidly caused blindness among the elderly. Now we have injections into the eye, drugs that inhibit a protein called vascular endothelial growth factor. And we inject these drugs into the eye and we can convert the wet macular degeneration back to dry macular degeneration. Unfortunately, over time, the dry macular degeneration slowly progresses. It progresses to what we call late stage geographic atrophy. Until recently, we didn't have any treatments for late stage atrophy, but I'm pleased to report we have a new drug that just received FDA approval in February 2023 that can slow down this late stage blinding condition of age-related macular degeneration. That's the good news. The bad news, this drug also has to be injected into the eye and it has to be injected into the eye every one to two months. While this is quite a burden for patients and their families, it does slow down the eventual loss of vision in age-related macular degeneration. How did we get this drug? Well, it came about from research, research that we participated in starting 18 years ago. It's a long process, and it's a process that's ongoing now with newer, better therapies that we hope to introduce to our patients so that we can inject fewer drugs into the eye and help preserve better vision over the course of their lifetime. The future looks bright. New therapies are being developed all the time, and we can now prevent blindness where when I started 27 years ago, blindness was inevitable. It now can be prevented. The Baskin Palmer Eye Institute is unique because of the unique clinical services we offer our patients. We provide unique imaging techniques, the best support staff, 
and a faculty that's second to none so that we can treat your disease and help prevent blindness as soon as possible. Thank you.